Hi, I'm Bruce McCall, the Director of Art Education at the Courier Museum of Art. And I'm here today to read The Art Lesson by Tommy DiPaolo. This is my favorite Tommy DiPaolo book. The illustrations are beautiful, and it tells the story of the young Tommy. He's a young child learning to make art both at home and in the classroom. He had a love of color, he had a love of art materials, and I identify so much with this young boy, the wonderful, the only Tommy DiPaolo. The Art Lesson by Tommy DiPaolo. Tommy knew he wanted to be an artist when he grew up. He drew pictures everywhere he went. It was his favorite thing to do. His friends had favorite things to do too. Jack collected all kinds of turtles. Herbie made huge cities in his sandbox. Jeannie, Tommy's best friend, could do cartwheels and stand on her head. But Tommy drew and drew and drew. His twin cousins, who were already grown up, were in art school, learning to be real artists. They told him not to copy and to practice, practice, practice. So he did. Tommy put his pictures up on the walls of his half of the bedroom. His mom put them up all around the house. His dad took them to the barbershop where he worked. Tom and Nana, Tommy's Irish grandfather and grandmother, had his pictures in their grocery store. Nana Fall River, his Italian grandmother, put one in a special frame on the table next to the photograph of Aunt Chloe in her wedding dress. Once, Tommy took a flashlight and a pencil under the covers and drew pictures on his sheets. But when his mom changed the sheets on Monday and found them, she said, no more drawing on the sheets, Tommy. His mom and dad were having a new house built, so Tommy drew pictures of what it would look like when it was finished. When the walls were up, one of the carpenters gave Tommy a piece of bright blue chalk. Tommy took the chalk and drew beautiful pictures all over the unfinished walls. But when the painters came, his dad said, that's it, Tommy, no more drawing on the walls. Tommy couldn't wait to go to kindergarten. His brother, Joe, told him there was a real art teacher who came to the school to give art lessons. When do we have art lessons? Tommy asked the kindergarten teacher. Oh, you won't have art lessons until next year, said Miss Bird, but we are going to paint pictures tomorrow. It wasn't much fun. The paint was awful and the paper got all wrinkly. Ms. Bird made the paint by pouring different colored powders into different jars and mixing them with water. The paint didn't stick to the paper very well and it cracked. If it was windy when Tommy carried his picture home, the paint blew right off the paper. At least you get more than one piece of paper in kindergarten, said Joe. When the art teacher comes, you only get one piece. Tommy knew that the art teacher came to the school every other Wednesday. He could tell she was an artist because she wore a blue smock over her dress and she always carried a big box of thick colored chalks. Once, Tommy and Jeannie looked at the drawings that were hung in the hallway. They were done by the first graders. Your pictures are much better, Jeannie told Tommy. Next year, when we have real art lessons, you'll be the best one. Tommy could hardly wait. He practiced all summer. Then, on his birthday, which was right after school began, his mom and dad gave him a box of 64 Crayola crayons. Regular boxes of crayons had red, orange, yellow, blue, green, blue, violet, brown, and black. This box had so many other colors, blue, violet, turquoise, red, orange, pink, and even gold, silver, and copper. Class, said Miss Landers, the first grade teacher, next month the art teacher will come to our room. So on Monday, instead of singing, we'll be practicing using our crayons. On Monday, Tommy brought his 64 crayons to school. Miss Landers was not pleased. Everyone must use the same crayons, she said, school crayons. School crayons had only the same old eight colors. As Ms. Landers passed them out to the class, she said, these crayons are school property, so do not break them. 
peel off the paper or wear down the points. How am I supposed to practice being an artist with school crayons? Tommy asked Jackie and Herbie. That's enough, Tommy, Ms. Lander said, and I want you to take those birthday crayons home with you and leave them there. And Joe was right. They only got one piece of paper. Finally, the day of the art lesson came. Tommy could hardly sleep that night. The next morning, he hid the box of 64 crayons under his sweater and went off to school. He was ready. The classroom door opened and in walked the art teacher. Miss Lander said, class, this is Mrs. Bowers, the art teacher. Patty, who is our paper monitor this week, will give out one piece of paper to each of you. And remember, don't ruin it because it's the only piece you'll get. Now pay attention to Mrs. Bowers. Class, Mrs. Bowers began, because Thanksgiving is not too far away, we will learn to draw a pilgrim man and a pilgrim woman and a, and a turkey. Watch carefully and copy me. Copy? Copy? Tommy knew that real artists didn't copy. This was terrible. This was supposed to be a real art lesson. He folded his arms and just sat there. Now what's the matter, Miss Landers asked. asked. Tommy looked past her and spoke right to Mrs. Bowers. I'm going to be an artist when I grow up, and my cousins told me that real artists don't copy. And besides, Miss Landers won't let me use my 64 Crayola crayons. Well, well, Mrs. Bowers said, what are we going to do? She turned to Mrs. Landers, and they whispered together. Miss Landers nodded. Now, Tommy, Miss Bowers said. It wouldn't be fair to let you do something different from the rest of the class. But I have an idea. If you draw the pilgrim, a uh, man and woman, and the turkey, and if there's time left, I'll give you another piece of paper and you can do your own picture with your own crayons. Can you do that? I'll try, Tommy said with a big smile. And he did. And he did. And he still does. Well, I hope you enjoyed the art lesson as much as I enjoyed reading it to you. Again, it's one of my favorite Tommy DePaulo books. Tommy loved art, he loved teachers, and he loved the relationship that teachers had with students who inspired them. So I'll close with this one drawing of Tommy, a portrait of his beloved teacher, Mrs. Bowers. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me, and we hope to have you back to The Courier soon. Thank you. When I was like 10 years old, um, I received art supplies for Christmas. It was everything under the tree for me. Oil paint set, watercolor set, drawing pads, books how to draw, horses, figure, you, know, you name it. And the attic was our rainy day playroom. Uh, and, I was, and they gave me half the attic for my studio. 10 years old. I used to go up there and just sit and look out the little window over at the hanging hills of Connecticut, beautiful view of the mountains, and just, just sit and just look. <laughs>